All right, fellow TW anglers, welcome back to Tackle Rouse's coverage of the 2021 spring release products. Got a whole slew of new products from Depths here, so we're gonna jump in and chat about a few of them for you. First up, we have the Corrigan Magnum 450 crankbait. So this is an oversized square bill crankbait, as you can see here. This is gonna be perfect for combing the depths. You know, any big bass are hiding in an offshore structure on deep points, you know, relating to kind of that deeper bottom uh, structure there. Dives to about 14, 15 foot. So you're really gonna be able to get deep with this thing. Bass really have nowhere left to hide. So this one's designed around this ultra thin bill up front that's gonna grab water quickly, efficiently, and dive it down super quick. Now, while it is a thin bill, it's molded into the body, so you're gonna get some extra durability, some longevity out of it. So you're gonna be able to bang this one into some hard boulders, stuff like that, and it's not gonna break or fail on you. And when you do de deflect it off cover, it's gonna come back to its original posture very quickly. So everyone knows you get a lot of the biggest bites after bouncing a crankbait off of something. So this one's gonna come right back into that, uh, that correct posture quickly. So when those big bites come, it's gonna be ready. And it's gonna start tracking straight and true if you don't get that bite on the next one. So you're just gonna be able to keep banging into different parts of cover and it's gonna track true for you quickly. Moving down the body here, you can of course naturally see we have a highly detailed paint scheme. We got some 3D scale patterns on here, some 3D gill points up front, and the 3D eyes. So just a lot of attention to detail on this one, meticulous attention to detail. What I really like about this is we have these four vertical ribs on the back third of the body. Now those aren't there just for good looks. I mean, they do look good, but they actually play a vital role in this thing. So these are gonna displace and push a lot of water. So as this crankbait rotates out to one side, the water's gonna catch on those ribbings and push it back to the other side. So you're just gonna get a lot tighter, more aggressive action, might get a little bit of a bubble trail out of it. It's gonna push and disturb a lot more water to help bass locate your bait. It's finished off with some sticky sharp treble hooks that are attached to horizontal line ties. So between the wobble and those horizontal uh, ties there, it's gonna be a little bit more snag resistant than some of your other crankbaits. So great deep water option from depths. All right, let's take a look at some new soft plastics from them. First up, we have the Barut Craw Chunk Trailer. So a really nice soft plastic from, from depths on this one. Pretty unique, a little bit different than what we've seen before. So we have the two claws on the side here, and then we have this middle appendage. Now this little middle appendage is actually gonna give you a little bit more vertical fluttering shimmy movement, and then you'll get the more graceful, slow flapping movement on the side. So you're gonna get a tremendous amount of action on this one to really help bass key in on this soft plastic. So if you're fishing in some dense vegetation, that's very important where they can't visually key in on your, on your bait, that commotion and water disturbance is gonna help you know, tickle those lateral lines, help them locate your uh, bait in some of that dense, dense vegetation there. You also have a channel that runs through this entirety of the body. That's gonna help with a couple things. A, as you're inserting your hook, you know, if you're doing it on the back of a jig, Texas rig, uh, anything, a Tokyo rig, anything like that, uh, that you're threading it through there, it's not gonna tear up the plastic. And since that channel runs all the way through, on this front little appendage here, you can actually slide a glass rattle in there. So if it's dark water, super stained water, or you know that dense vegetation we were talking about, it's just gonna give you an acoustic layer to your presentation to really help bass key in on your soft plastic. So kind of a unique uh, trailer from Depths on that one. We got another one from them. This is their Death Adder Straight Tail Worm. It's gonna be obviously a nice little finesse presentation. You can actually use this on a variety of things. Of course, it'd be great for drop shot. Maybe you wanna use it on a Ned jig down on the bottom. Uh, you can actually do it on a, a very small split shot rig, or you can use this on a, as a trailer. So if you have a really finesse spinnerbait, you know, some of those micro spinnerbaits, this little kicking tail on the back of that is gonna look really nice. So again, super soft and it has their scent infused into it. Still durable, it's not gonna get torn up after just one fish. It's just a nice little accent piece to assume your micro spinner baits or as a standalone on your favorite drop shot setup. And the last one I wanna talk about from them, this is the new Depths Bull Slide Creature Bait. This thing's really excited. This is probably the one that I'm most excited about from Depths for, for this season. It's got some pretty innovative features to it. So from the looks at it, it looks like it's just a pretty simple creature bait but they put a lot of thought and details into this one. So I'm gonna talk about the general construction of this one uh, uh, initially here. So it's actually, we have a durable outer core with no salt added whatsoever on the outer layer. So that's gonna give you that durability that I was speaking about. So it's gonna stand up to more fish. If you're throwing it in some denser abrasive vegetation, it's not gonna get torn up. However, on the interior, the inner core of this is a soft and very heavily salt infused plastic. So you kind of get two different layers on this one. And now not only is that inner core you know, designed to be soft and help with a little bit of flotation, they actually put the center, all, all the center of uh, gravity up front here. 
So what you're going to get is called a backslide technique. That's what Depps is calling this one. So as you toss this into the water, with all the weight being up front, it's going to slide into pockets. And then you can lift it back up. If you don't get bit on that initial one, drop your rod tip back down. It slides right back into those pockets. So it's going to be kind of a unique way to tackle maybe some more complex structure. You'll be able to bounce your bait back and forth all along that vertical axis of that structure or dive into those pockets a little bit better. The body itself has a bunch of ribbing. It's going to help you know throw off a little bit of water, help those bass locate your, uh, your bait. You have some little appendages on the side here that's going to dance and as you're twitching it along they'll, they'll dance and cause a little bit of commotion. And then on the back you have these two little wings that are going to do a couple of things. One, of course, they're going to flap as you're dropping this one in, but they also kind of act as a stabilizer. So as you're doing that backslide motion again, it's just going to help keep this thing tracking very stable. So just a unique new take on a creature bait that you definitely want to check out from Debs. So to learn more about for these projects, products, to shop for them, or check out any of the other spring releases, make sure you head over to TackleWarehouse.com.